hi i'm back with me uh my peacock so i'm going to start doing the paper mache bit first so um I've, like i said i've done in the last um part one i did the um the frame of it the bodywork of it with the chicken wire so now i'm going to start doing the um the paper mache part of it to start sort of uh, making it a bit more dense and secure and building up bits as well and like i said putting a, a beak on it make it look a bit more um peacocky and i might actually um i think i will attach some of the um the tail feathers on the back as well so it might be easier to wire them on before i put the um the paper mache on too much so yeah so i think i'm going to do the, the tail feathers first to wire those on and then i'm going to start on the paper mache so with the paper mache that i've got strips of newspaper that i've cut up um and then i'm using i've got this um paper mache paste just it's like get it from craft shops it's like powder then you add water or you can use um, pva glue with a bit of water so if you go a little bit further or wallpaper paste as well you can also use so that's what i'm going to use i've got my little tub to put in there and my paintbrush um but to start off with um rather than putting the paste straight on obviously all this um chicken wire because it'll just drip everywhere i'm actually going to get me strips and put it on and then actually use some sellotape um so i'll sort of uh, stick it all to the first layer i'll put on with sellotape and then i'll do my paper mache um but hopefully i'll come back to you when i actually start the paper mache in part so um now i'm going to put the tail feathers on or the larger tail feathers anyway um and then I will stick my first layer of um, newspaper on with other tape and I will get back to you once I've done that. Okay, so see you in a bit. Hello, right, I managed to put the tail feathers on. I thought I'd do that first because it'll be easier than trying to do it after I've started doing the um, the paper mache. So, uh, yes, yeah, so these are the tail feathers. As I've said before, I got those from Home Base, Home Bargain, sorry. Um, just before Christmas I bought them, I said they come in different colours but these are the ones that I chose and then I've actually sort of, um, I've cut them a bit shorter because they had really long sort of wiry ends but I was supposed to put in flower arrangements or whatever so I've cut them shorter and pushed them into the um, the chicken wire and then I've just sort of at the base I've just wired them on to hold them so that they don't keep falling out hopefully and then that flap that I had that I showed you in um, in the part one um, I've sort of wired those that down onto the, the end too as well so when the, the paper mache will go over the top and think what I'll do is the um, the real peacock feathers that I've got I'll sort of glue those to that paper mache bit and sort of come down a bit so that's the uh, the, the tail sort of started on the uh, the peacock anyway so we're uh, glitter everywhere now like, so um so yeah so it's done that and then so like i said what i'm going to do is get me bits of um newspaper or magazines or whatever you've got lying around and then to start off with i'm just going to sellotape just bits on so there's something to sort of uh, put the paper you know the paper mache glue paste sort of stuff on so yeah, so we're just going to just basically cover all the, the chicken wire with the paper and just just roughly stick it on. It doesn't have to be uh, anything marvellous, just enough to hold it on because hopefully once you've got all the, like, the layers, because the most probably take about three or four layers of paper mache, um, to do so it doesn't really matter if they're just roughly stuck on it's just something so when i get the paste i can put the paste on that and then put another layer of paper on so um and then i'll leave that to dry before i put another layer on um because like sometimes if you just keep layering and layering and layering when it's wet it'll um it'll take forever then to dry so if i just let it dry one layer at a time it'll it'll go a bit quicker so yeah, so that's what I'm going to do now is just cover it all in the um, bits of newspaper to start off with. Um, and then I can, like I said, I start building up a bit like the beak and things like that once I've got my first first layer of, um, I might do a layer of paper like this, then a layer with the um, 
the paste and paper and then I'll start adding bits and pieces like I might build it up a little bit where the wings go even though I have actually got some I found some in a local shop in um, where I live um, found some nice I think they're actually supposed to be like leaves but they're really sparkly um, and they look perfect to put wings on so uh, I'll almost probably put those as the wings but um, but yeah the back I think needs building up a little bit more and like I said needs a beak putting on putting on him so uh, I shall be doing that so anyway so I will get back to you when I've got my sort of second layer of paper mache on so you can see how we're coming along okay then see you in a bit right I've got the first lot of uh, paper on the uh, the frame I've got the tail in Right, nice and sparkly there so yeah there's uh, just roughly sellotaped it nothing special just just enough to hold it down everywhere hide a bit of the tail and all the bits and pieces which I might do that more of a V when it comes uh, to the paper mache but uh, yeah there's the uh, the head I will sculpt it a little bit more I've tried to put a bit of a beak on it but I'll do that sort of further into the uh, the paper mache bit. But there we go. That's, uh, that's what I've done so far. So, yeah, so there we go. That's that bit. Next step is to actually put another layer of um, paper over the top of that with the paper mache paste. Or like I said, you can do the... Uh, um, the glue or um, wallpaper paste all the same sort of thing but there we go I mean you don't have to use those sort of tails it's just what I've got you could just get some proper peacock feathers and and attach it the same way as I've done with the the wire but I'm going to put some proper peacock feathers over the top near, nearer the top of the tail sort of um, around there I've got some and I might just put a few in to mingle amongst the sparkly ones as well and like I said uh, in the first video, this is all going to be trial and error because I've never done this before. I'm sort of uh, I'm just making it up as I go along. But so far, so good. So uh, there we go. So uh, I will get back to you again when uh, when I've done the next stage. OK, see you in a bit. Hi, I'm back. I've... Uh, Done my paper mache for my um my peacock. So uh I don't know if you can hear that's pretty solid now. So that's had about five layers on. Well six, because you had the, the first layer was the um the newspaper with the, the sellotape to hold it all together, and then it had another five layers of the uh, newspaper with the um paper mache glue. Um like I said you could use PVA glue or um wallpaper paste I got it from a craft shop mine so it was paper mache paste so yeah so what I did is I did one layer let it dry overnight so it was hard and then another layer and so I've done a layer each day so yeah so that's that uh, finished and obviously I've got one lot of the tails put on already the sparkly ones and I have got some um, real peacock feathers to sort of put down and then some little more sort of fluffier ones just to go around here so um, that's that bit and I put another leg on so he looks like he's got two legs otherwise uh, my one son said it looked more like a flamingo because he's only got one leg. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I don't know whether you can see I have got two legs. He's standing. So uh, and I've done a bit of paper mache over that so I can paint it which is going to be the uh, the next stage to, um, to this craft. Um, obviously I can take my time with this because we're in lockdown again so uh, I've got at least six weeks off work so uh, no need to go um, rushing to get it finished so I can do it as and, uh, as and when I want to I'm in the middle of um, painting the downstairs toilet as well so I can um, <laughs> while that's uh, drying I can get on with this and then while this is drying I can get on with that so I'm sort of uh, amusing my time a bit um, so yeah so the next thing I'm going to do for this is I'm going to paint it all white first just so we get a nice sort of even colour then I'm actually I think I'm going to um, paint it the colours of the peacock so I think I'm going to do like the, the 
the blue round here going into possibly a green uh, and then to make it look like it's more feathers I'm going to do a little bit more sort of like paper mache type over the top to give it a bit of texture but I'm going to use that with um, tissue paper hopefully and the tissue paper will be the same colour as what I'm painting it so that's going to be the the next um, <clears throat> sort of uh, part of my uh, paper mache peacock hopefully um, so yeah so this is um, part two so part two was the um, paper mache in part so part three will be the uh, the painting of it and the paper mache um well like just going over it with a few um, <clears throat> bits of um oh, my words have gone <laughs> I have to tell you the lockdown's got to me already when I'm in the fourth day um the uh, tissue paper is the word I was looking for so yeah so I'll do that just to give it more texture to make it look a little bit more like like feathers because the overlapping it'll all just give it a bit of texture so that's what I'm hoping um so yeah and then after I've done that I'll put the feathers on it and I have got some like sparkly um I think it's supposed to be like a leaf I got it in Christmas um but I think it's going to look quite nice for um for wings um so I think I'll most probably do that at some point but that'll be nearer and obviously I've got to make the um bits that stick out the top I'm quite decided I'm going to do that yet but do it at some point anyway so um so yeah so i will see you when i've uh, got it all painted up so this is as far as i've got now so anyway i will see you again soon okay bye